Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be talking about blood restriction training or blood occlusion training, BFR, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, let's get into it. So what is blood restriction training? Basically, you're just cutting off circulation in your arm or in your calf, whatever muscle group, in any muscle group, and you work it out. So that's just a little short description. And how is it done? Why do people do it? So you basically put this thing on your arm. You want to put it at a six or seven tightness, 10 being really, really tight. There's no circulation at all. One being, you know, nothing. So. I will get into the detail of why you should do you should be doing six or seven tightness and not a ten. Why is it why is it done? Why do people do this? And I've been doing a lot of research on this recently just because I I've been training really heavy for like four to five years and sometimes I feel it in my joints and I just feel like you know it's a nice little switch up. So I've been doing BFR training and some of the benefits that I've found some of the benefits that I've researched are that it causes a similar metabolic stress or hypertrophy as heavy lifting would be. And hypertrophy means muscle building, so it causes a similar stress as heavy weights would, but it doesn't have those negative effects like joint pain or taxing your nervous system. Um, it just has a crazy pump like you just feel a crazy crazy pump so that's the second benefit you think you've gotten good pumps before try, try this out like try BFR training and you'll just get a pump out of this world bro out of this world bro like it feels insane it feels like your muscle is just gonna burst out because it's so pumped especially your bicep and triceps when you superset both damn bro that shit's crazy it's it's meant to cause similar metabolic stress as heavy weights would. It's used a lot in recovery for patients like with ACL tears or maybe they messed up their elbow and they're trying to rehab. They do a lot of BFR training because um, they get similar effects as an 80 to 90 percent weight would, but they're only doing 20 to 30 percent. I think it's a lot better on the joints to be honest. One of the things that you do not want to be doing when you do BFR training is putting on the band too tight. So if you put it on at a 10 tightness, like if you're a crackhead and you want to inject something, those guys put it on tight. Not that I know from experience, just from the movies, man. So you want it at a six or seven. And the reason why is because if you put it on too tight, you're cutting off restriction both in and out, you're cutting off artery, artery blood flow. You, you don't want to cut that out. You only want to cut out vein, like blood flow from your veins. So you want blood, if you're doing bicep or you're doing tricep, you want blood going in, into the bicep, but you don't want it out. So that's why you put it at six or seven. So it's only blocking the blood from going out, but it's still, it's still going in the muscle. And that's why you get such a crazy pump. That's why your muscles stretch because of the of the blood that's in there uh, causing that muscle fascia to basically grow and it's going to cause micro tears in your muscle and those micro tears are going to recover make it a stronger bigger muscle another mistake that you do not want to be doing while doing this is you don't want to go too heavy like you're supposed this isn't supposed to be heavy training this is actually quite the opposite this is supposed to be really lightweight and your first set, you might be like, oh, this feels like nothing, like I'm not even working out. But once once you finish that first set and you start going into the second and third, you're definitely gonna feel it, man. It's gonna feel a lot heavier. So what I recommend or what I have been doing is towards the end of my arm days or towards the end of back, I do bicep or towards the end of chest, I do tricep. So basically I do like four to six sets of either cable curls or dumbbell curls for bicep or for tricep I do push downs or maybe push ups so you want to do like four to six sets of 30 reps and rest I don't know 30 to 45 seconds in between 
in between uh, sets. If you're supersetting bicep and tricep, then no rest, bro. Just go bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep, get it over with. It's gonna be painful, but it's gonna feel good. So you don't wanna take these off in between sets. You wanna keep the bands on. So you do your curls, you do your push downs, and you wanna keep them on. Rest maybe 10 seconds and do another set and keep them on until your last set. You can finally take them off and you're just gonna feel all that. You're not gonna feel it. I don't think you feel it, but your muscle is just gonna like grow. It feels good, man. Just a little sh summary of what what I talked about. Basically, blood occlusion training. You cut off circulation in your arm or in your calf, whatever muscle group, um, to cause a similar metabolic stress as heavy weights would, just none of, the, none of the negative effects. You don't want to put it on too tight. You don't want to do heavy weights with this. And I would recommend doing this two to three times a week. Uh, I think I've been seeing some R gains. I don't know. I've been doing this for like two to three months. I've been really liking it. It's a nice little switch up. But anyways, if you find this video informative, if you like it, if you got something useful out of this, please comment down below or like the video. It helps me out. Uh, maybe even share it to your friends. If you want to try this technique out on your next um, arm day with your workout partner, show them this video and be like, bro, let's try some BFR training. And by the way, you can get these these bands either on eBay or Amazon for like 20 bucks. They're not, ex they're not expensive. I think it's a good investment. It's a nice little switch up in your workout sometimes. And it just feels good, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for a lot more content. Peace out, guys. Hey,